Hi guys, it's Dabby from What's Mama Cooking For Us. And today I'm making an Italian chicken and potato recipe. Um, i seen it on the internet. Um, right here I have, um, oh, was it four pounds? I think it was four pounds of chicken thighs with the bone in. I've already washed and cleaned it. And here I got about four pounds of red potatoes that I cleaned really good and also rinsed them, scrubbed them, and rinsed them and cleaned them and let them sit in vinegar for a bit. Because I don't know if you guys remember me telling you that potatoes are on the um, list of the Dirty Dozen where they're very high in pesticides and all the stuff that we don't want going in our body. So let me see start by saying um, I lost my whole train of thought but let's start anyway <laughs> okay I got a big sheet pan we'll use a big sheet pan and you can put foil on it for easy cleanup or you can just spray it so oh and, and let me tell you I got the oven set at 425 get that preheated while you're doing all this okay so that's all sprayed Oh, let me get rid of a little bit of this water that's in here because we're going to coat these with a little olive oil. Let's stick this back out of the way. <laughs> and we're going to put salt and pepper. And I'm going to use some of this powdery pepper too because those big flakes I like to mix them with the powdery stuff and salt about a teaspoon teaspoon and a half of salt and about a teaspoon of pepper and then I'm gonna just use some olive oil I, I'm not really gonna measure but just put some on about a tablespoon and a half and then I'm just gonna take the tongs and stir them up this is an easy simple recipe it takes about 75 minutes for it all to cook but it's pretty easy all right I am gonna use my hand here because I gotta get it all in there I hate to do that because then I have to take time out to go wash my hand <laughs> during the video. That's why I prep a lot of the stuff in advance like the chicken and so I don't have to take time out to wash my hands and I'm not really good at editing. I'm getting better at it but not great. So hang on one sec. Okay, so the potatoes are all set. <clears throat> now we're going to start the chicken. And what I did here is I rinsed the chicken and I did some trimming on the chicken. I left the skin on, but I did trim off like all the other pieces of chicken. And they're like just all this mess. And you just take a good pair of um, cooking uh, scissors these are like chicken scissors that I have I got these from pamper chef years ago and they've lasted me forever and you just go around and trim some of it off because you don't need to eat all that but I left these wet I got this recipe from a woman named I think Teresa she's an Italian woman she's 93 and she does these recipes and they're great but she said to leave these wet and then um Salt them really good, so let me drain some of that water out. I got a little bit too much in it. So I'm going to get some salt and get them all salted. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a tickle in my throat. All right. I don't know if I got them all perfect, but we're going to put seasoning on the, in the coating too, so 
Hang on, let me just rinse my hands so I can touch the salt again. I need a little bit more. Okay. So you want to salt them pretty good because you want them to have flavor in the front and the back and everywhere in between. <laughs> okay. Now I gotta wash my hands for real. Sorry, guys. Okay, here we go. Let's get back to business here. Okay, so I picked up a box of Bisquick, and this is what she says to use. And they have different kinds of um, Bisquick, but this one's the pancake and baking mix. And this is the heart smart kind. I just grabbed that. It doesn't matter. You can use the regular. And let me cut this. And what I do once I take these out of here is I usually put them in canning jars. And I take the label off. Put it on there and some of the directions and I just stick it right in the jar or I use a bigger jar because I'll probably need a bigger one but we're going to use a cup of the Bisquick and put it in this bag like we're going to shake it <coughs> I'm sorry guys I got a tickle in my throat okay then we're going to add our seasonings. So we need um, a teaspoon of pepper. And like I said, I use both peppers, the powder and the bigger flakes, because I'm just weird like that. I don't know why. And a teaspoon of basil, a teaspoon of garlic. Put it up here for you basil pepper garlic powder i never use oops i never use garlic salt garlic powder and paprika and her recipe call didn't call for parsley but i put parsley in everything so i'm gonna put two teaspoons of parsley Okay, and then I think that's it. Let me make sure. Okay, and then just give this big a mix. I didn't show you the garlic powder and the paprika. Okay, so then give this a mix. And then she said she leaves the chicken wet, which I like to leave my chicken wet as well because <clears throat> I like the coating to stick on there good. Some people say, patch your chicken dry. I don't, I, I never do that. So I'm gonna put a couple in at a time and give it a shake. But I'll leave the link to her video at the bottom if anybody wants to check it out and check her out. I don't think she does videos anymore. I'm going to shake these off really good so they're just lightly coated. And I actually have eight thighs. That one needs a little bit more coating. And use your tongs and keep your hands clean during this part so that you don't have to, like I did, go wash your hands all the time. That's why I like to usually prep my chicken in advance and do different things like that so you're not contaminating and spreading the germs. So just continue to do this. And I don't know why I'm doing it over the bowl, but just in case. 
This is a pretty fast and easy recipe. What I did was I did the potatoes early on, rinsed them, washed them, scrubbed them, rinsed them again, and uh, did the chicken, prepped the chicken in advance, took it out about an hour before I started, let it get to room temperature. You should do that with all your meats. And um, then I took a break from everything and um, set up everything for the video. And that way I'm disabled. I don't know if I'm ever telling you guys that in my videos, but it takes a lot out of me. So anyway, I digress. But see, look at all that um, chicken fat that I took off that we don't need. We don't need that in our life. It's, it's flavor, it's definitely flavor, but we don't need it in, in this recipe because you're gonna have some, some skin. And if you want, take the skin off altogether. But I know the healthier eaters do that, but the skin's my favorite part, always has been. When we were kids, my dad never ate the skin and he never liked it. I, I don't know if he didn't like it or he just didn't want it, but whatever. We always fought over it. who was going to get his skin off the chicken. Okay, and then I let my chicken set um, like this. I like to let mine set for about a half hour so it gets all coated in there and kind of seeps in there. And then when you look at it, it'll you can see the moisture starting to come out of it. And it, the coating gets even better. I like to do that with my fried chicken as well. But, so what we're going to do, let's clean this mess up a little bit. And <clears throat> get our pan. Now I can't remember if I already said, get your big sheet pan, spray it down. And uh, get your tongs. And she said to put them skin side down, so I'm going to put them skin side down. Oh, I hope I'm going to be able to fit all these on here. She did hers on two, but she did legs too, so we'll see. Yeah. So what you do is you put them in for 45 minutes, and then on the top rack, or the bottom rack, or whatever. And then, it doesn't matter, she switched hers, she had two pans. And then she puts, just switch racks for 30 more minutes. So you can either do that or like I'm doing it all on one pan so I don't have to switch racks. So I'm going to start it on the bottom and then put it on the top. And then we're going to take our potatoes and just place them around um, on the pan. And this is about four pounds of potatoes. So I spent more money on the potatoes than I actually did on the chicken. The chicken was $3.71 for eight chicken thighs. I think it was approximately three or, three or four pounds. And uh, I bought red potatoes just so they'd be pretty, but you can use any potatoes. And um, let me get rid of that. And then I'm making broccoli to go with it. So, I bought a pound and a half of broccoli, and that I'm going to cook separate. But, um, so, before I put it in the oven, let me just, oh, some paprika. We got to put some paprika on everything. Is that the top? Because it don't, okay, we'll put paprika. Just a sprinkling. Just for the color. She, she said for the color, I like it for the color too. Okay, and I think that's good. Okay. Okay, anyway, so I was saying it cost me $3.71 for the chicken. Um, $4.99 for the potatoes and $2.52 for the broccoli. So it was a pound and a half of broccoli, five pounds of potatoes, and the chicken. And I bought the Bisquick, but I'll use this for other recipes, and so I'm not even going to count that. But So it came to $11.22 for this recipe with the broccoli that I haven't done yet. And um, that's a pretty, um, pretty good deal. 
let me show you the chicken and what it looks like that's it all ready to go in the oven so we're going to put it in for 45 minutes and then we're going to take it out and then we're going to put it back in um on the on the higher rack for 30 minutes and then we'll see if they're done and i'll be back okay okay guys this is after 45 minutes and i'm just flipping the chicken and it's nice and crispy The potatoes look so good. It smells delicious. Okay. Alright, I just wanted to give you a look. I'm going to continue to um, turn all the pieces of chicken and also the potatoes. But it's looking good. See, see in about 30 minutes. Okay guys, I'm back and um, I left it in for 45 minutes. Flip the chicken and then I put it back in for 30 minutes. The potatoes are done. The chicken's done. And it looks delicious and we're getting ready to eat. And I made some broccoli to go with it. And uh, I'll show you it all plated up in the little thumbnail. Alright, thanks for watching. Give this one a try. It's really easy. Cost us about $12. And took us about 75 minutes to cook it. And I don't know, 20 minutes to prep it or so. So give this one a try and stay tuned for the next one. Bye guys.